Uh, oh, hello. Look, the year is 2015. Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, and other applications make our phones so much fun. But at the end of the day, I bet most of our time is spent typing. Now, I actually was not going to make this video because I thought the majority of the information was common knowledge, but it astounds me how many people don't know of these super important tips to optimize productivity while pecking away on your iOS keyboard. So today, I'm going to show you how to become a mobile typing wizard. Tip number one, undo. Now this tip has been out since around iOS 4, but so many people don't know about it. Let's say you accidentally delete something. Rather than having to type it out all over again, simply give your iPhone a shake to bring up the undo dialog. Sure, it's kind of annoying and you do look pretty stupid shaking your phone like a chimp, but it will allow you to step back several steps so long as you keep shaking. Tip number two, contractions. Let's take the phrase, they will or the contraction they'll. Now, if you type out they'll, an apostrophe will be added automatically. But what about contractions like wheel and heel that without the apostrophe are actually other words like well and hell? Now, a lot of people don't add the apostrophe because they say it's too hard. And my reaction is, oh brother. But a lot of people don't know that if you hit the last letter twice, it will correct to the actual word. So if you type H-E-L-L-L, -L -L, the word will correct to heel. If you type W-E-L-L-L, -L -L, it corrects to wheel. So for the love of heel, please use proper contractions. Tip number three, periods. Sentences are cool things, but fragment sentences are not. Do you have any idea how much longer it takes your friends to read your messages because you don't use proper punctuation? Now, if you're not keen on pulling up the secondary menu to insert a period, just double tap the space bar when you're done with a sentence. It actually even starts you off in the right place for a following sentence. So it's faster for you, it's proper grammar, and it allows those who read what you type a little bit of sanity. Tip number four, rage mode. Sometimes a man or gal just gotta shout. If you double tap that shift button, it activates cap lock. Shout till you can't shout no more. Tip five, punctuation to the max. Instead of toggling the secondary menu to find the punctuation mark and then toggling back, you can insert numbers in punctuation in one easy step. Put your finger on the secondary menu toggle and while holding the key down, slide to your number or punctuation mark of choice. Now, once you let go, you are toggled straight back to the typing menu. It's an easy trick that over the years has likely saved me hours, seriously. Tip number six, style. Now, when you're in mail, notes, or a third-party application that supports rich text, you can totally bold, italicize, and underline said text. Type what you want, and then select the word or phrase by double tapping, click the BIU button, and then add the formatting style of your choice. So fancy. Tip number seven, don't look stupid. Nothing is more embarrassing than using ostentatious vocabulary incorrectly. Apple understands that not everyone has a lexicon, so they've included a dictionary in iOS. If you double tap a word that you've typed, or really any word on iOS, you can then click the arrow button in the menu to then click define. A little contextual menu will pop up with the definition to said word that stumped you. The only thing I wish it had was a thesaurus, because words like euphoric sound way cooler than happy. Tip number eight, traditional typist. Now, thank goodness that block style formatting has become the norm. It's way better than inserting indents. But if you need to go old school for a school paper or something like that and use indentation, you may have noticed that the iPhone doesn't have a tab key like the iPad. Well, if you're in an app that supports rich text like pages, notes, mail, or other third-party apps, you can pull up the contextual menu, hit the arrow button, and then indent or outdent accordingly. Old school to the max. I mean, to the max. Tip nine. Don't correct me. Autocorrect is great, but it isn't perfect. If you've been corrected incorrectly, simply hit the backspace key once so that you're at the end of the erred word. A menu will pop up automatically, allowing you to revert to the original word as well as see alternate suggestions. Tip number 10, magic fingers. There are probably a few things that you type out pretty often, like your phone number, your home address, or a phrase that you say a lot, dink and flicka. If you enter the settings application, hit general, then keyboard, then shortcuts, you can add phrases that you can trigger via keyboard. All you have to do is insert the phrase, insert the shortcut, and boom. Now anywhere in iOS, in any application, you can hit your shortcut key combo and it will expand with the text that you've programmed. From noob to Mavis Beacon, you are now an iOS keyboard master. 
Now, if this video was helpful to you or maybe to others, we'd appreciate that you share it with your friends and family and give it a like. Now, if you thought that this was the worst video you've ever seen and you wanna break your phone just at the sight of this ugly face, then a thumbs down will do. If you want to support our channel, you can shop at snazzyzon.com, which is our Amazon affiliate link. Uh, one of the reasons you can shop there is you get the same prices, but we get a small kickback for sending you there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. It astounds me how many people don't know of these super important trips. Ugh.